Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, whoa, voice crack, to the, uh, <laughs> to the crowdsource chat, I'm sorry, I found that very funny and I don't know why. Um, let's spin the wheel, we've done triple spin yesterday, let's see what our single spin today will do. We've only got uh, eight options on the wheel at the moment, because uh, I haven't gone through the comments yet. I'll do that after the stream, or after the video, stream, what? Video. Uh, I know, oh god. I now have to use an animal trailer to buy or sell animals. That's going to be a fun one. I haven't put in the other ones from the stream yesterday yet, so I'm going to just write this down. And I'll catch you guys in game. So, we need to, actually, we need to get down to the shop immediately. And uh, pick something up because I finally, 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 finally activated the bloody mod I've been meaning to. Uh, you guys remember a couple of days ago, a couple of episodes ago, should, I should probably say days, but episodes, um, because weirdness and wibbly wobblies. Um, you guys remember, whoa, that I, okay, I'll be honest, I skip off camera like that. Because um, sometimes I'm doing a few little, little tiny jobs off camera. Uh, we had a rule come in that meant I had to get rid of the baler, and the rule was Heston Bales only, so without further ado. Let's get over to Bailing Tech and grab ourselves a beautiful Heston Baylor. Let's go with... Ooh! Okay, so full disclosure, I've stolen this from the Frontier Design server again. Hence the Heath Super Chaser I wasn't expecting. That's... Is that really an autoloader? That's... I'm not going to count that as an autoloader, you know, because that's used in real life. Ah. Uh, and, oh, I'm really glad that I left a bit of a buffer here, because that this is going to be quite an expensive setup. Uh, let's get the... Let's get the Fent Baler. And I'm also going to want the Bale Pusher. And the Heath Super Chaser. So that we can stack the bales in the fields. And I'm not counting. I'm not counting this super chaser as an auto loader, because it is in real life a loading wagon, which has some weird collisions because of the way it has. To, it works, I guess. Um, so we're gonna make, th I guess, th two trips. Okay, first test. Can I power this with the? Can I power this with the tractor? Because I might need to rescind the rule if. It okay, I can. Never mind. So we're going to be making Hestons from here on out. Uh, which is actually going to be nice. I actually do like using Heston bales. Um, so I've stolen all of these from the Frontier Designs server. Um, <laughs> as I tend to do. That's why um, they may be look different from the Arm Team one. And why there's a Heath Super Chaser that I wasn't expecting. Because um, I don't recall that being in the normal publicly available version of the uh, the Heston Baylor mod. Um, just gonna count that as a weird little added bonus. Uh, and yes, I am just stealing a lot of stuff from the Frontier server at the moment. Um, mainly because, like, these rules just... Uh, well, number one, the tractors they use are stuff that I would see in real life. Uh, hence, stealing the class and the deer. And number two, the Heston rule. I was going to continue using the uh, class quadrant, but <laughs> the Heston rule came in. So, uh, yeah, stealing the Heston pack from Frontier as well. <laughs> if there's a number plate, I'm going to have to put another... I'm just going to copy the one off the class. Oh, there are number plates. Dang it. Dang it, Frontier. Why do you number plates? I know why, because it looks better. Um, so I'm just going to steal the number plates off the class, because that's probably what's going to run these, for the most part. Um, this is going to be a pain to move, isn't it? Ooh. But there is a plan for today's video, and it's not dealing with this for 20 minutes. Because as soon as we have this into the yard and put away into the, the shed of trailers, I guess, 
Um, as soon as we got that put away, what I'm going to do is grab the mowers, because we need to make some hay. Uh, no we don't, because it's midsummer. Dang it, I've not fast forwarded enough. <laughs> I wasn't paying enough attention. So what we're going to do after we get this done is we're going to fast forward and then we're going to make some hay. Because the grass isn't fully grown yet. I was wondering why those fields still looked a bit too light in the green department. That would explain a lot. So we are slowly accumulating just way too much equipment. Um, which is problematic, but oh well. <laughs> And uh, we are actually coming up on the end of this series uh, already, because I don't know how much longer I'll do FS17 for, I'll be honest, because <laughs> you guys might have noticed, uh, but I'll, I'll be very honest with you guys, I'm getting bored of this game, I want FS19 now. I, yeah, my interest in the game is waning, um, loving the map, loving these mods, and I'm using some of the best mods of course because it's the end of the game. and. Everybody knows actually what to do now. Um, but we are kind of coming up on that period where, yeah, I'm going to be uh, finishing up the game as a whole. So let's, uh, while we refuel the <laughs> class, totally realistic here, we'll keep the engine running and magically zip through time, so this takes hours. Vaderstad's on sale. Not too interested in Vaderstad. I think I'm happy with the... Uh, equipment I have here. And now, and here and now, I'm quite happy. This is, by the way, uh, an Irish Geo made by Mr. Simulate Gaming, so you might notice there's a bit more rain and the weather isn't quite as good during the summer. You know, it's 21, 20 degrees, believable temperatures, not off into the 30s like sometimes in, in seasons. Uh, I'm going to skip to morning, and we're going to actually have to skip through a full day here, which isn't the nicest. Because I made hams of this. Uh, on the bright side, <laughs> you can see that our animal upkeep is uh, 7 grand. Our, the cows are down to 2% base food. The cows are eating all of the mixed rations. Uh, hopefully this isn't going to cause a problem. I'm going to skip to morning, and if the cows die, the cows die. As long as we got over 100, I'll be happy. We apparently lost some sheep too. Oh, because oh, they all ran out of water. Right, that's yeah, that's problematic. But that's not something I'll, I'll worry about now. I'll do that. I'll sort them out for water and food uh, during the stream if I play farm sim. If not, I'll do it off camera for the next episode. And what we're going to do today is we're going to head down to field 7 first. Do I want to do field 7? We'll do field 7. I apparently forgot to close this gate when I was moving the class out at the very uh, before I started recording. Uh, but that's kind of fine. Because uh, I need to close both these gates. Well, I need to close this definitely this gate. No, don't, don't drop it. Just turn it. No, unfold it. Turn it. Up. There you go, there, Dave. That's what. That's what you're trying to do, there, Dave. Let's get the mower switched on, not just down. So let's get the. Oop. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> so now you can see that we are uh, going at pretty much full yield now in the grass for late summer. Could obviously have left it another day, but it doesn't matter too much if you mow on uh, the second to last day of summer, or the last day of summer. As long as it's in late summer, the grass will be fully grown, the crops don't grow. Um, kind of mid-season. Which is kind of a bit sad. Though they do grow in the mid-season, when it says like mid-summer or whatnot. But they don't grow in the middle of like mid-summer, or the middle of late summer, or the beginning of late summer. Um, that's what I was trying to say, and I just confuddled myself horrifically. You can see that the crop fields are also grown. I'm actually not going to harvest them straight away. I'm going to just leave them grow up for um, 
another little bit I want to harvest in um, the middle of autumn, the beginning to the middle of autumn, just so that they, uh, there's a chance that there's a bit of a higher yield. So I'm not going to just immediately jump out of this and jump into the... Uh, I'm going to just turn down time acceleration as well. I'm not going to just immediately jump out of the class and jump into um, the class, the, the harvester. <laughs> because I am going to need to uh, do a few extra jobs. You know, I'm going to need to make the bales and sell off the uh, other bales. In fact, that's something we should probably do, isn't it? No, because I've got to. Uh, no, because I've got to give the cows mixed rations. I didn't think of that. No, I've got to. I can't sell off the, the hay bales because I need to give the cows mixed rations. So this is the only job we can really do at the well. We could do m multiple jobs. We could do some harvesting, but uh, not right now. And then we're gonna sell some hay bales, and we're gonna get uh, the animals back to not being dead. I know that the rules say that I should deal with the animals first, but I don't want to have a video where I'm just dealing with the animals. Um, and I'll probably actually deal with them off camera because it is just turning into me on streams just constantly dealing with the animals. Um, so I'm probably going to do that off camera once I'm finished recording and uh, possibly while I'm rendering or something. I'll, I'll just feed the animals up to 100% uh, and then we can start if I do stream today we can start the stream by selling off the uh, not by selling off the bales by uh, finishing the mowing in tomorrow's video though we will be selling off the bales and I'm not going to accept any of the rules that say no selling of bales because the selling of bales is to accommodate me swapping over to Heston's Plus, I've openly said that once we get the new crop of hay and, and straw in, that I was going to sell the bales so that I didn't, I wasn't using like 12 month old plus bales. That I, I don't feel like, in reality, you'd want to be using year old bales on your animals. So we're going to set off to, we'll just say, the biomass plant to be burnt um, over the winter. Because they don't really care how old the bales are, as long as they burn. The hay will probably go to the mushroom barn. The straw will go to the biomass plant, where they can dry it out, probably. And, uh, pro they can probably dry it. And, uh, yeah, then burn it for, uh, fuel. But the plan first off is to get the hay made in the first place. The straw, won't, the straw, by the way, I won't be setting off until um, I actually have new straw available to me. And we are, of course, coming up on the point where we're going to need to buy another field, and it's, it's looking less and less likely that I'm even going to get the compost master at this point, never mind get it running. Because to get the compost master running, I'm going to need to give to just feed a fuel. Uh, the same goes for the BGA, actually. It, it's looking less and less likely that I'll e ever get them running, and uh, the map's going to just end. The series is going to end before um, I can get to that point. However, we did have an end goal at the very start of this, so I'm going to ignore the compost master and the BGA, and we're going to go all out for the end goal. Uh, now, because we do, we do need to buy more animals on Friday, but that's pretty much, other than pig food, all we're going to be spending money on from here on out. Um, and, well, and fuel and repairs. Um, but I think we're at the point where it's time to focus on the end goal and focus on buying every damn field on the map. Now, the, interestingly, there's been no rule saying that I have to work all the fields, so I can just buy fields and just abandon them forever. Um, because <laughs> the end goal is to own every field, and with the cows and the sheep bringing in, the cows for sure bring in 30 grand a day, and the sheep bringing in probably a bit more than that. Um, I don't need to worry as much about feeding them, because 
or I don't need to worry about that much about money and, and, and keeping things afloat because I know that at the end of every day I'm gonna get like 30 grand and in the summer I'm gonna get well over 100 so that's not really a concern anymore money money has stopped being a concern um, to the point where and I'm not even kidding you guys I don't feel like I even need to sell crops during the winter that's the point we're at now where money is is just this thing that we keep getting it's just a toy for us now so I can really start focusing on buying fields and getting to the end goal I mean there's a lot of fields left to buy and that's gonna be a lot of money but I think we can really especially with selling uh, off all the wheat in the winter uh, we can really kind of focus on that and, and make that our target now. Make the end goal our actual target of something to do. So... I'm gonna be, uh... No, we're not gonna be passing the... Oh, we might buy, pass the buy point for field 4. I might make a little detour by field 4 um, while we're passing it and mow that as well. Because, number one, more hay is never a bad thing. And number two, it's another field. And another step closer to the, the end goal. Because um, with all my ideas and ambitions of, oh yeah, we're going to do this and that and the other, I kind of put to the back of my mind the fact that we're in October already. It's, you know, we're getting up to the end game. Really, we're getting up to the end game of FS17, you know. As a, a, on a, as a whole on YouTube, so you know, I'm only maybe four weeks from finishing up uh, four weeks at most I might finish before then with FS17 so we're going to make a detour by Field 4 um, even though I think the buy point is is it just across the road from the entrance of the field? No, it's slightly down the road so I'm going to stop the tractor here and just nip down the road. Obeying the rules for once, you might notice. I may have forgotten to close the gates um, coming out of the sheep field. We're just gonna grab field four, that's 40 grand. That's <laughs> not actually that big a deal. Um, I could go straight into field four and start mowing it. Could we, should we? Yeah, let's go into field four and start mowing that instead. Screw it. This is going to be the, it's going to be the lowest yield field, so we might as well uh, have a bit of fun and mow something different. We don't mow this field yet. Could I nip across and buy field 19 as well? Let's, buy, let's just nip across real quick and pick up field 19 while we're here. Uh, there's field 19. This is the ridiculousness of having 100 cows and 200 sheep. Oh, 23 grand, that's nothing. Thank you. I should add at this point, there is no loan out, there is no money cheat being used today. This is legitimately money that the game is just throwing at me at this point. Um, you know, we're, we're up to the point where I'm able to just wander off and say, I think we'll buy this field, but... And on a normal map, I shouldn't be allowed to do this, but because of the, the way you guys have designed the rules... Um, and the way the rules have come out, I guess, the, the, the order of the rules has kind of helped a bit, because if I got some of the rules that I got early, or some of the rules that I've got lately, um, earlier on, I'd be in serious trouble, and uh, possibly just getting some sort of game over. I'd have to manufacture a game over for it, because we'll say, let's, let's say I got right at the beginning, uh, no money cheat, also I've got to use a Hessen Baylor. Well, I'd have no way of getting that. So it would be a case where I can't follow the rules. Um, and I, I, I really thought back at the very beginning of this series when... Yeah, you know, I made some silage bales and then immediately the no bale silage uh, rule came up. I thought, oh god, this is me screwed. I'm, I'm just... this is... 
this series isn't going to go anywhere because I'm I'm just never going to have money. I'm never going to be able to do anything because the rules are just going to keep screwing me. And then I just got this run where, yeah, the rules are being quite evil. But even what I thought was the most evil rule, the um, 100 cows to 100 sheep, that's worked to my advantage. I'm getting insane money now. I've just got effectively limitless money. So... Can I really complain about those rules? Probably not. The only one that's actually an inconvenience. Um, and I, well, there's a few of them are inconveniences in streams, and I tend to ignore them when I'm streaming. You might have noticed in episode 32 yesterday, the live special edition, um, that at certain points I just started tabbing around because it's not very stream friendly. It's fine in videos because I can cut out the walking, but in streams, not the best. Especially when I'm trying to get to two pieces of equipment that are across the map from each other. Um, but the the worst one, the worst ones for me have been like no tabbing and walking at one times because I kind of feel like walking at standard walking pace one x is very slow. I, f I feel like three x is kind of a a more normal walking pace, especially in a game. It just feels a bit more natural to me. I don't know. Might be the 1x is just a normal walking base for a game, and because farm sim is actually quite large, it feels a lot slower than it is. But that, that's kind of the way I've been looking at this. But I've been genuinely, over the past month or so, doing this series, genuinely every day when I've been opening up the Wheel Decide website, and using that wheel, I've been dreading getting a bad rule. And there's still one or two in there. There's still a few rules that I'm just like that. I'm terrified of. But I think... Um, I think episode 35 will be the last episode where we bring in a new rule. And after that we'll just play through with the rules that we've got and set the rules in stone. Because uh, I was kind of expecting to run out of rules by now and I, I'm... Kind of seeing the rules be very repetitive that are coming up. It's people suggesting rules that are already in the wheel that haven't just haven't been picked yet, or people suggesting rules that are just hey that mod you just bought no you're not allowed to use that no you're not no or that mod you just installed you can't use that now no because like one of the rules was no using grazing mod I'm not uninstalling grazing mod from the map. That'd be kind of stupid, considering the whole point of grazing mod is to be a bit more realistic and to work with seasons. Um, I was, I think, something about hose mod. No, picking up the the um, golden nuggets, which, with the amount of money I'm getting per day in the game, I don't think picking up the gold nuggets really would make that much of a difference. Quite honestly. All, all that getting all 100 gold nuggets would really do would be just mean I can go around, wander around by all the fields. Here comes the train, I'm going to take down the hut and get a, a thumbnail while it uh, is passing by in the background. And so hopefully I don't get to a corner before it gets to the br uh, It should get to, to about the bridge by the time I get to a corner. Or beyond the bridge. Let's try and get a good angle on this. This is a nice angle. I know that I'm missing a lot of grass doing this. And print screen. I like thumbnails. It just kind of happened somewhat naturally. I know that I had to stop there briefly. And uh, as a result of the angle I wanted for the thumbnail, I was just looking backwards. But that's the way it works sometimes in YouTube. Um, that's the kind of shot you can't say no to, though. Especially as the thumbnail. But, um, I think we're actually just about out of time and the yield on this field is hilarious. When you compare this to field, uh, 7, which is the one we mowed at the very big, the, the start of this episode, when you compare how the grass looks here to the, how the grass looks over there, you can kind of see the difference in yields. Um, between fully fertilized, technically plowed, um, versus no fertilization, 
and requires plowing. Um, you know, that, that's that's a big difference in, in just doing maybe three extra jobs. And uh, the reason I say technically plow, by the way, for field seven is just mowing the field counts as plowing it. Uh, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, I think that is, I think though that is about all we have time for. I know that I've extended this a bit by just nattering on aimlessly. But I will leave you right now by saying I've been Raymond Dave. You've been watching the Crowdsource Challenge in Farming Simulator 17 on Shamrock Valley. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave your comments down below. Your thoughts on the video. Your thoughts on whatever you want to think about today. Until next time, uh, stay safe, and goodbye.